Hello and welcome. I, today I'm being joined by the mayor, Youngstown Mayor Tito Brown, and we're going to have an in-depth conversation about what's been happening over Youngstown and the impact that this is having. And I know we're getting a lot of attention at one end of the spectrum, Mayor, but Youngstown's a little bigger than that. Yes. So let's talk about what's going on with Youngstown and beginning with the declining in population. Okay. Well, Dee, first of all, thank you for, let, for having me here, and I'm, I'm glad we could get a little bit in-depth, as, as we call this segment. I, I guess one of the things I, I talk about people, they talk about, you know, the population of Youngstown, Ohio, and um, when we look at how far we've gone, we're right now at 60,068 uh, every, every 10 years. They look at that. But when the population declined, as the mayor of the city of Youngstown, I still have to pave the same number of roads. We still have that many yards to cut. We still have to deliver all those services that are out there, which is, it, it impacts what we do as a city. People are gone. Economics leave the city, the community. I think since, uh, you know, Black Monday, you know, which in, in, uh, that was in 77, 1927, it'd be 50 years since Black Monday hit an area like this, and we're still seeing results of the, the steel mills closing down in this community. When I looked at some of the statistics, Mayor, um, what else has been changed as I saw that was median income. Mm -hmm. Definitely the poverty level of children up to the age of 18. Yeah. We're, we're the top in the state of Ohio. It, it, the ironic thing about it, you know, poverty, you know, no one can say what's the cause. It's no one to blame, but it's, it's all our issues to deal with. You know, if you look at the household, median household income, you got single parents, you know, homes now, you know, the two parent home is not, not happening as, as, as it did in the past. But also you, you're, you're finding individuals who are taking on two jobs to make one job so that they could just have a, 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 you know, some type of quality life for the family. So one of the things we need to focus on more is making sure that we're, we're educating the children, but we also want to educate mom, grandma, those, those breadwinners in the home uh, if they have a GED or high school de de diploma, maybe some secondary education, some, some, something that they can uh, advance a little further uh, with their, their workforce. As you look at that, and as a mayor of the city, I'm sure you're seeing that uh, with the poverty rate of the child, that also impacts upon the expectations of that child. Um, you know, why should I go to school? You know, what's available for me if I complete uh, and get a high school diploma right. or a GED. Yeah, it, growing up for me, uh, it was two options. It was it was either you know the military or college. And now that that, that pathway is not as simple as, as it, it was. used to be. Right now, the pathway has to be uh, that is multiple opportunities for our, our children, and as well as you know making sure that by 2024, everybody is going to have to have some secondary education. We will continue our conversation with the mayor in depth here on First News.